Hello again boys and girls, it's Mrs Jones again. I thought I would do another video uh, because Mrs Boone asked me if I could show you some art this week uh, because we usually do art together when Mrs Boone is on her PPA on a Wednesday afternoon. So I thought it'd be nice rather than just sending you some pictures if I did you a little video so we can have a quick chat about who we're learning about and I can show you some ideas of things that you could do at home that are to do with this artist. So can you remember a while ago we did about Kandinsky and we drew those circles. We had a square like this and we did lots and lots of circles getting bigger and bigger and bigger with our oil pastels and then we put them up on the wall to have a little copy of that picture of all of uh, Kandinsky's circles. So I thought that was quite fun and we quite liked doing shapes. And we'd been talking about how circles have one nice curved side, one curved edge. So let me try and draw one. It's not a very good circle. <laughs> but can you see how it goes nice and round at the outside? So I thought this time maybe we could have a look at some shapes that have got straight edges. So, like this shape here, one, two, three, four straight edges. And can you see we've got two long ones and two short ones? So I wonder if you can remember what that's called. If you can, maybe you could tell somebody who's with you at the moment what this shape is with two short and two long sides. I'll give you a second and I will tell you. That's right, it's a rectangle. Excellent. So this one's also got four straight sides, but can you see all the sides on this one are all the same? Is that another rectangle? Silly Mrs. Jones. Of course it's not. It's a square. You knew that, didn't you? Of course you did. So I'm going to show you some pictures that have got lots of rectangles and lots of squares on. And they are by an artist called Piet Mondrian. So this one's got grey rectangles on it and white and yellow and I like this one a lot. Composition in red, white and yellow it's called and it's got nice black lines and they make different sizes of rectangles and then some of them are coloured in. So that's a little bit like what we're going to look at today. This one here, composition number three, this is the one that I really like and I think that we can make our own version of. And it's got white squares and rectangles and black and yellow and blue. Now, can you remember when we were talking about Kandinsky, we talked about some special colours and they were called primary colours. And they were the colours that if we want to make different colours, we could mix them together. So like we did with our handprints right at the beginning of the year, do you remember when we put two handprints on and then we mixed them together to see if we could get some different colours? So the primary colours are the colours that we've just seen in those pictures. So this is one of them. This is purple. Oh, silly me, it's not purple, it's yellow. <sighs> see, I'm even silly when I'm at home, not just at school. So yellow and blue and red. So these are the three colours that you will need to make an, a picture like a Mondrian picture. It doesn't have to be felt tipped, it can be wax crayons or pencil crayons or coloured card or even toys that you have in your house. So here I have some Duplo bricks, so you could do it with Lego or with Duplo or with any building bricks you have. So what you've got to look for is rectangles with the two long sides and the two short sides and then squares with the four sides all the same size. So don't worry if you've not got any card and if you or maybe you've got paint, but if you've just got some crayons or some felt tips, you could draw a picture like this. So I'm going to show you that first and then I'm going to show you a couple of other ideas that I've had of things that you could do with crafty things or toy you have in your house. And then I would really, really, really like, and I know Mrs. Boone would as well, if you would send us some pictures of you with your artwork that you have made and 
maybe if your mummy or daddy or a grown-up at your house could send a picture of your artwork on its own as well as a picture of you with your artwork and then maybe I might be able to put all the pictures together okay and then I can email it to your mummies and daddies and whoever you live with and you'll be able to see everybody's artwork so we'll have a picture of you with your artwork so we can see it your teachers and then one of you on with your one of your artwork on its own so that we can send it to other people without sending your picture as well so what we'll do now is we will have a go at drawing them on Mondrian composition. So you can use a ruler if you have one. I know that we've had a little look at these before because they're very clever, aren't they? Because we can use them for measuring, but we can also use them for making beautiful straight lines. Don't worry if you haven't got a ruler, you can use another piece of card or a book, but we've got to be very, very careful so you don't draw on the book, but you can use it to help you make a nice straight line. So. I'm going to get a nice little piece of paper because I don't want to do it too big and I'm going to pop it on the table. I'll put it on some black card so you can see it. Okay, so there's my piece of paper. Get my ruler and a nice black pencil crayon. And all you've got to do is just draw a straight line anywhere you want, nice and straight. And go over it a few times to make sure it's nice and dark so we can see it's a black line. So there's my first line and then you can draw another one in a different place. So maybe this time I'm going to turn my rule around and I'm going to draw a line up this way. So now can you see I've got a really big square here and a little square here. And then two nice big rectangles. Don't worry, I've got a little smudge in the bottom, but that doesn't matter because we can colour over the top of it, can't we? So I'm going to draw another line here. And all your lines don't have to go all the way to the edge. So this time I've done one that just goes up to that line. And then I could do another one over here. And I think we'll just do one more down here. So here we go. So you can have a go at doing this, but if you're finding the straight lines quite tricky, maybe a grown-up could help you. Or if you ask them really nicely, I'm sure they'd be happy to draw you some squares and rectangles like this, and then you can colour them in. So I'm going to show you a little trick to help you to colour in the lines so that we can see these nice, big, bold squares and rectangles. So if you get your pencil crayon or your wax crayon or your felt tip, choose which square you want to colour. So this is my blue one. I know it's quite hard to see it's a nice blue one and what I'm going to do is just very very carefully colour around the outside edges of my box so I've chosen one of the squares first so just a little one because the little ones are easy to practice with so if you colour can you see how I've gone around the edges and then I've been really careful when I'm doing that so I don't go over the lines. So then what you can do is just colour in the middle. That's it. Make sure you go over it so it's nice and bold and blue. Like those pictures that we looked at before. So I'll just get this one back so you can see it again. Can you see how it's nice and dark and blue? So here's my one. There we go. So then you can choose another square so this time I think we'll do a felt tip one so exactly the same so very very carefully going round the edges of your rectangle or your square so really take your time on that can you see I've stayed in the lines and then you can just colour in the middle really super fast and the felt tips are very cool because they make it nice and bold so if you've got some felt tips at home, they are very good for this. So you can carry on colouring that in until you are happy. Make sure you leave some of the squares white, like he did. And you can maybe do some grey ones if you like to. But I think it looks really good with just red and blue and yellow and white. But it's up to you. Maybe you could do some different colours. But I think it's quite nice with these primary colours, like how Mondrian did his. Because these are the very special colours, like we said before that you can mix together to make lots of new colours. So 
Have a think, can you remember what would happen if I had some red and some yellow and I mixed them up? How did you know that it made orange? Well done. It does make orange. You must have remembered that from the beginning. What about if we swap that red and we go to the blue? And we can mix those together, lots and lots of yellow, just a little bit of blue. That's it, makes green. I've got some green here on this picture behind me. That's my girls were drawing some parrots the other day, so they wanted some pictures to copy off. So I've got a nice blue and yellow one here, and it mixes together to make green. Well done, well remembered. So I'll just quickly show you a couple of things before I go, and then I'm going to wait very excitedly over the next week, and hopefully you will send me some pictures of your artwork. So, like I said before, you don't have to use crayons or craft things or paper. You can use toys. Maybe you could line your cars up in the shapes to make squares and rectangles. So, I've done this nice Jupro one with my Isla earlier on. So, I've got lots of squares and rectangles there. So, that was quite cool. That was fun. Then, this one, I got some card and cut it into squares and rectangles. So again, you can ask a grown-up to help you, but I know that you are very good with scissors. So as long as you have got a grown-up watching you to make sure you are super safe, maybe you could show them your snipping skills that we have been learning in reception. So make sure you don't do any cutting without a mummy or daddy or grown-ups with you. But if they are there, maybe they could watch you and just give you a hand if you need it. So don't worry if it's not a perfect rectangle. Just try really hard to do straight edges, not round ones, and it will still look really, really cool. So you could get some, if you've got some black card and some coloured cards, that's really good. That's very, very lucky. But don't worry if you don't, because I know that lots of people have lots of different things at home. But if you have got a piece of black card, you could maybe stick some coloured card on the top to make a picture like this. Or if you've, if you've got black and white, but you haven't got any colours, that's fine as well, because you could get yourself a nice piece of white. And maybe you could ask a grown-up very nicely if they would cut you some little skinny strips of black. And you can put them down on your piece of card to make the straight lines. Like we drew before. Just turn the camera around if I can. Oh, it's not going to let me turn the camera around. Not to worry, I will hold it up and show you. I've got one here that I've stuck lots of pieces of black card. So you can stick the little strips on like this and then you can colour it in just like you did before. And make any pattern you want. You can do coloured ones next to each other. You can make sure there's always a white one. Anything you like. I'm very, very excited to see all the things you come up with because I know you're very good at art class art. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video and I hope you've enjoyed seeing me and I wish I could see you and we are all missing you so, so, so much. If you haven't had a chance to watch the little Peter Rabbit story video, then maybe you could go out and get your mummy or daddy to put that on for you. That's on YouTube. Um, I read that for you on Easter Sunday. Um, and Mrs Boone has asked me to read you some more stories over the next week or two. I think she's going to do you some as well, so that'll be really nice. And you'll be able to see a video of Mrs Boone too. And maybe her boys will pop on to say hello. My girls are upstairs being quiet at the moment, so that's a first. So I hope you are all being good, boys and girls. <laughs> and I hope your beans are growing lots and lots. And I will look forward to seeing you very, 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 very soon. Bye-bye.